Hello and welcome back to Cud Buds. We're under the sea. Are we? I've never I mean, I've we've never gone, won we've gone one deep in a reef. I feel like we must be. Yeah, it's it's a weird one. I don't know much about the reef. Uh we're doing some clam hopping. Should I get on this giant clam? Yeah, jump in that clam. Uh, okay, we got well, some infiltrators. I don't know what those are, actually. They, I think they're infiltrators. Oh, okay, there's something else. They are interdictors. Oh, God, oh, God. Uh, jump back into that clam right away. Okay, we don't, we don't mess around with, with trinning lampreys. Uh, this is okay. Uh, we got some Svartim. Me. Nothing too spicy. Yeah, this is fine. This is much better. Heck yeah. Oh, you got hobbled. It's fine. Um, you could confuse that lad. You can confuse could two probably lads. probably confuse multiple lads. Yeah. I'm starting to feel like this uh, helmet is actually quite good. It's on the right there. There it yeah. is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not oh, can't quite, quite get them. the third one. Still, that's an elder. I don't think you'd have much opportunity to confuse him anyway. Yeah, this, the breathe gas is probably a great idea. You know, quills aside, uh, I'm really liking that recipe we cooked up. If you're wondering what that wave effect time is. Time dilated. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. So you have negative one quickness, but it's fine. If you were closer to that um, dilating Svartim, then uh, it'd be more of a problem. I need more grenades. You could throw a resonance grenade at these guys. They don't really carry anything you want, right? make sure you're not like in the radius yeah that's fine boom i don't know if that killed the elder it certainly didn't do them any good oh there's an eel up there i think that the eels are okay certainly it is a very spooky looking creature uh you are taking nasty damage yeah, there's a lot going on. I I think the hologram bracelet is a good idea. Ouch. Um, salve up before you get too low. Okay. Um, maybe more more stun gas wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah. Perfect. All right, now you can probably hit that guy on your left with impunity. I, I don't recall how nasty eels are. So we'll have to play things by ear a little bit. Hopefully we don't die. This is going okay. Um, I th thought you killed it, but there's so much going on that I guess the XP just kind of floated up the log. Where you going? Can, could, you could confuse that eel in the meantime. Just to buy you some a little bit of time. I oh, can't. never mind. Oops. Um. Yeah. Where is he going? He's dead now. Okay. Um. Maybe throw some more stun gas on that eel just to be sure. We've got it. You may as well use it, right? And then uh, we can just sh start shooting. I have a funny feeling that all of those eels are the same one. Quatravolt glider. That leads me to believe that they do electric damage and that is very dangerous. However, they seem to be okay. I think that this is actually the perfect way to fight that guy because I'm assuming hitting them on melee would mean you would be taking electrical damage. I would say don't worry about that guy on your right. What you're doing is fine. I don't think he's the one that hobbles you. He's just going to do some very basic melee damage. 
we'll, we'll definitely keep an eye on it, but while we've got the eel like in uh, in our grasp, broke free. That's fine. All right, nice. Now we can kill that lad. It's a hatchling, so not not something to be super concerned about. Well, that went really well. We're 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 making very good use of all of our tools, all of our resources. The steel beard uh, turned out to be a really good idea. <laughs> It just kind of, you know, we cooked that at kind of like the perfect time. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Um, I'm thinking, you know what? Um, why don't you go ahead and use your eater nectar injectors? Someone out there is going to disagree with me, but I don't care. You can use them both. Oh. You just straight up gain one attribute point. Did I learn how to make these? I know you said I'll never do it, but... You'll never do it. And there's a reason we don't but, want but to. But did I? I think so. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, we do. I did. You'll never do it because our splice seed is like rarer than Eater's Nectar Injectors. But I can do it. No, you can't. Well, I mean, you can. Why? Like, you can craft. You literally know how to, but you can't do it. Because you, you need the ingredient. But I had the ingredient, didn't I? No, you don't have our splice. See the our splice? You're right. Seat? I see. You're right. All right. So there's a reason we don't necessarily want to use Eater Nectar. Go ahead and use it. I'll explain afterwards. <laughs> um, if you... Uh, I wow. guess we're, we're good for a little uh, longer for... Um, oh, closer. If we put both of those into intelligence, we're, we're closer to Tinker 3. But uh, I'll let you decide. I, I, I trust your judgment on this one. Because, I mean, it doesn't matter. All Anything is good. Ego it is. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's good reasons to put it in the ego. Don't, don't even. Um... You can't, you honestly can't go wrong here. What do I want to do, I guess, is the question. You could look at Cudgel Demolish. I think that would need strength 29. Strength. So like if you yeah. wanted to split split the difference, you could put one into strength and one into intelligence. Yeah, I can already do all the acrobatics, so I don't need any agility. Unless I wanted to get better at shooting. You're pretty close to all the tw to 25. So the only one you would like maybe one is ultra fire. But that's 29. Yeah, I know. I I have never gotten it before. Is all I'll say. Hmm. But that would be a good goal since I only get two shots <laughs> before I have to reload. Having one fucking good sorry for cursing, but having one effing good shot. Sorry, children. Sorry, cud babies. This is a Cud Rishian ch channel. We're getting re we're getting real now. <laughs> ah, I don't know. Oops, all curses. Yeah, I mean you can always hold on to them for a bit and decide later. That could be a good you know, dual wielder. You know what would be not a terrible decision is um have a look at self. Uh, I always forget the name of it. Self something. Respect. Yeah, self-discipline. Self-discipline requires some high willpower. Mind over body is like one of the best skills ever. Um, these are all pretty good. Fasting way is quite good. 
they basically keep you keep the effects of cooking for quite a long time iron mine would be good against the the jerks that we keep encountering so it's it's worth thinking about like if you wanted to throw some points into willpower willpower is also benefits you quite a bit because it reduces the cooldown of all of your abilities I know you don't care about reverse engineering. No, we, I, I, I straight up think that that is a waste of points. Honestly. Like, any piece of tech that we would want to learn, we can probably learn from a data disk, and if th th that's if they're, they're too complicated for psychometry. Willpower, oh, apparently that uses, uh, for shield wall, we would want willpower. There's it's a low willpower. There's arguments for... So we could max shield. out shield. Yeah. Um, an argument to be made for throwing points into intelligence, however, though, is that it gives you skill points retroactively. So, it, I don't, you can't really go wrong here, in my opinion. Um... Can I tell how it's? Uh, is it all, why is willpower green? What's affecting it to be? Um, I think if you click on it, it won't tell. You have a chance to look at it before. Modified to twenty-five. So it's a modified to twenty-five. So I I'm nowhere near getting twenty-five. Oh wow! Yeah, I didn't even uh, think of that. Not sure why it's modified to 25 right now. Something's giving it a plus four. Don't know what. I'm sure that's something that'll be addressed in a future update. That's generally something Narf likes to um, work on is having like more transparency of information. Um, I think it's more fun if I try to get my intelligence up to 29. I know you think I'll never make it to Tinker 3. Oh, I, if you put two attribute points into it now, you will be uh, well on your way. And also, uh, as soon as our meal runs out, uh, I'm going to have you do something that may help. So I, I think it's worthwhile. Doing it. And that gave, that gave you almost 100 skill points. Dope. I could become spry. Now that, that would be truly a waste. <laughs> you keep saying that, but if I get all the things, eventually it stops being a waste, and then I've just got a positive DV. Right. So what what you do is uh, if you could get all the things to giving yourself a positive DV before you get that skill, then you'd have something. Shield Slam is nice. I It's just another activated ability that you you'd have to consider using that's why i don't recommend it i definitely go for the passive ones yeah first. i'll i'll save for the passive ones yeah fine i'm not fine. I, like if you want more buttons to press i i will not stop I you don't i can't see the ones i already have <laughs> you could apply some shortcut keys to some of the ones we use a lot and then you wouldn't have to go scrolling through all your stuff all right Um, we could auto explore the zone. Um, don't know what is on the zone. I'm a little bit worried about some of the things that I'm seeing, but we could just jump through a clam again, and shop around. There's a slug. You could you could shoot that slug. They are friendly to you, however, I guess. I think they do drop some good stuff, though. To your far east. I don't east. even see what you're looking at. Far oh. east. Kaleidos slug. He's got a necrocious foot. I don't know. I'm not super familiar with, like every creature in oh okay um 
we fight that thing for okay i think you're okay just do not head any more northeast whatever you do yeah that is a gal gal and that thing will absolutely rip you to shreds but he's got tubes he does have tubes uh i honestly would suggest making like sprinting towards the clam and if the slug follows you that's great um we really do not want to gather the attention of that gal gal i was hoping that the slug would follow us it looks like it might be but it, it's just taking its time it is a slug you know it's slow oh you could pick up a uh, crystal i actually think that's an upgrade again that's a flawless crystal agus worth picking up anyway. polyp I don't know. No, I think you, it's a short blade. You don't know? I guess it's a short blade, so I guess it is worth something. They're generally worth it. Oh no, it's a long blade. I'm wrong. Grab it. I don't know. Let's uh, let's learn something. Yeah. You, you, okay. You just got another upgrade to your shield. So that's quite nice. This has been a very productive uh, trapes through the through the coral reef. Should I hold on to this to sell yeah. it or? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's crystal. It'll you'll get quite a pretty penny for it. I'm still hoping we can fight that slug. Um, oh, you want to fight the slug? I do. I was hoping it would follow us a bit more. I saw him punch a frog to death and just moved on. All right, let's just move on then. Because we, we we really don't want to go over there. I was hoping it would follow us. It, it seems to have lost interest. Okay, I don't think I like this because we have zero vision on anything. It's really things are happening. Something things are happening. Um, you hear a sloop. You definitely we can wait a couple turns and see if anything shows its face. We are below the lake Hinnom. Um, yeah, th I'm getting the fear from this place. Let's let's. Oh, all right. Go in further. Go in further. Yeah, commit to this all right well apparently there's centipedes in uh the palladium reef and lake hinnom really not seeing anything too exciting water is not our friend just in general oh man we can go i i just yeah i, I don't i get I, i'm picking up a bad a bird in this place yeah we are friends to birds. What's the rating on that guy? Trivial. Yeah, not worth it. Ish. <laughs> Zoop. Uh, this is okay. Outskirts, huh? At least this is a bit more open. Yeah, we have a, a frog lad we can shoot. Apparently, we'll... Well, they're friendly. Hold on. Before you kill them, let's go talk to them. Generally, they're not friendly. Scrounge. I mean, they have some nice stuff, but maybe we can go and talk to them and see if they can trade. This might be the uh, equivalent of, like, an Arconaut. Soft hissing. Okay. He has He's got bear thing. meat. I love him. I love, I love, yeah, we, we look. Killed some bears. Enemy to bears is a friend to ours. Yeah, I, I'd say, uh, unfortunately, it might be worth just, like, killing them. I know they're neutral, right. and it sucks. Oh, he's fine. Leave him. All right. He's just a little guy. He's just a little guy. Killing bears. These holes. Do I care about these holes? Uh, we don't want to walk through those holes. I mean, like, you can, but then we have lost sight of our clam. And we we are then in a place we don't, we, unfamiliar to us. 
Okay, there's interesting things happening here. Um, those tongues to your north left, I know they don't look like tongues. They look like kind of um, anemones. Anemones. Those things are are kind of shitty, and there's a lot of them on the screen. I actually think that you'd probably be best stepping back into the clam. This is a place that can kill you. I, I, I would, I would, under normal circumstances, love to have explored the turtles because there was some fun turtle stuff going on there. But like, the fact that there were so many of those tongue plants is, uh, it's just really bad. Okay, um, this is interesting. I mean, it's not as open as we'd like, but at least it's, you know, not filled to the brim with water. So, uh, that gal gal, by the way, it was like one of the few things that I mentioned that yep. could kill us. Oh, it's not a kaleido slug. It's, oh, it is a kaleido slug. We could try and uh, kill that lad. See what we get. I know we get something. Not Ouch. winning. Ow, that hurts. My DV is very low. It's zero. It was negative before. Oh, sorry. My AV. AV is very low. And why is that? I wonder. Uh, try confusing them. For just a mo. Okay. Well, that helps. Uh, I'd say salve up. Yeah, you can throw down the hologram. Just a, usually a good idea to like. I'm not holding anything. What do you mean? No, that's the no. I'm wrong. Oh, we lost the quills. That's why. Go ahead and throw your armor on. There we go. Uh, I'm not. Yeah. So we lost our stun breath as well. Um. You can throw a bracelet down. You can do. We're 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 okay now. I think. You you're thinking of charge again. I. They're the same word. Slam and charge. Yes. Do you want to slam, slam yourself? Myself. I do. You just shoot him a couple times. All right. Okay. Not doing much. Well. Yeah, that's true. But give it, give it a chance. You, you, you hit it for low damage, but that doesn't mean we can't hit it for high damage. You haven't crit it really at all. All right, that was a good crit. I can't imagine a slug has very high uh, AV. But I guess it is a Kaleido slug. Maybe it's like made of crystals. Well, this seems to be going a lot better now that you have like almost a double the AV. Or was did it leave a corpse we can butcher? Wasn't it on that bottom blood? No. Okay. All right. I thought that they were uh, there. I I think they're a pretty highly prized, butcherable creature. So I, it didn't drop a corpse, is what happened there. We have webs. That's a little concerning, but I think we're okay to take on. I, I'm going to assume it's a greater voider. No, it's just a normal spider. Now that is spooky. Oh, wow. Okay, so that is a legendary Servant of Toe. Uh, He's loved by the guys I hate. He sure is. It's impossible. So the problem with him is that he will... He doesn't care at all about how much armor you have. 
he does mental damage. Like, he does melee damage, but it goes and it hits you directly. Um, so, if we wanted to fight him, and I'm not saying that would be a terrible idea, we would want to tinker up some freezing grenades and, like, any number of things to make sure that he is never going to touch us. Do, like, ten... And then equip those. Um, lots of fun things going on over there. What's happening? I think that someone cast burgeoning and that created a bunch of fun plants. And now they're all fighting the dervish. Should I just get in there and just throw a bunch of grenades? You definitely could. I'm just wondering any damage they do to him is actually kind of beneficial to us. I'm wondering if it wouldn't be a good idea to make some more explosive grenades. Did you already do that? While I wasn't... I've got five. Okay, well, that's not bad. And I've got 15 Mark II freeze grenades. Perfect. Okay. And two I can throw from far away. Nice. Okay. Um, let's just, like, wait a couple of turns and see how this goes on the left side. There's also some, annoyingly, a fungal now. So that complicates things a little bit. You're gonna kill that spider. That's not a bad idea. Just to get them out of the way. Uh, I actually think that the dervish themselves created the plants because they don't seem to be fighting him. He's fine, so he is damaged. There's a force field, apparently. Yeah. Servants of Toe are mental mutants, so he does get some extra powers. I won't say this isn't supremely dangerous. It, it is. Um, but it, it could be worth it. We have wings, so if we need be, if need be, we can, like, fly away if it feels too spicy. Are you waiting for the force field to come down, or...? Oh, I don't know. Is it, is it gonna? Uh, it might. It probably will eventually. Hello, fungus. I think the force field was on the uh, fungal. Yeah, it's still there. Mm. Mm. Injured. Itchy skin. The red death that has itchy skin. He's also got itchy skin. Yeah, he, he is also healed completely now. I can't tell... If you're throwing a grenade, yeah, you're throwing a grenade. Okay. Um, yeah, go for it. You should. It should automatically. Okay, you're you're equipping explosives. Mm-hmm. All right. Good luck. Now I have no idea what happened there just now. I feel like it. A wall came into existence. I, I think that it the explosion shifted the wall. Which is a, a bummer. Uh, you could throw some resonance grenades. They will destroy the walls, hopefully. I guess you only have the one. Still. Well, certainly did some damage. It's crystal wall, unfortunately, so it's it's gonna take a beating. All right, then we got rid of the wall. <laughs> I don't understand. It, uh, the, the explosive grenade is like, um, it, it, it's damaging enough that it actually shifts stuff around it. Like, it, it's like, I don't know how to explain. Like, you can see, it's not like it's creating a wall, it's like, it's moving it. Hmm. Uh, because of this wall business, I actually, I don't know if we have a good means of doing this. You're certainly doing some damage. I think you killed the plants. Um... Yeah, uh oh. Ooh. So that is the dervish making their move on you. Maybe re equip your 
thermal or um freeze grenades as soon as we see them we want to we want to oh you know what have been good we don't have any normality gas do we like normality gas grenades uh No, we would have seen it already. No. Yeah. That's a bummer. That would have been perfect in this situation. We're going to have to move in a little bit if we want to see what we're doing. The main thing we're hoping for is to not die instantly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're, um, what's, what's your prognosis? What do you, what do you, what are you thinking? I can't see him. Oh, there he is. Well, that's not him, actually. That's the sad bear. Sad Where did he bear? come from? Oh, clone of sad Amos. And Psychic Thrall. What the heck? For real, though? So that guy's a problem. I don't know. Yeah, freezing him would be great, actually. Didn't take. He, he, you've reduced his temperature, for sure. You could throw it in front of him. It might have a better chance of, like... Yeah, there we go. Throw, like, another one. The more you the more you do it, the lower their temperature is, and therefore the longer it'll last. Okay. So he's frozen now. He is frozen. Um, explosive grenades. This is not the guy, by the way. Oh, we used them all up. Uh, you could start shooting him. You could charge him and do some melee damage. This guy isn't as instantly a problem. You probably want to save that. Him. You probably want to save that for when he's unfrozen. So like hit him, but like leave a gap between each hit to check if he's still frozen. And then when he's not, then confusion will be your ticket. Oh, well, that's a problem. Yeah. Um, you could blaze. It is a it is a um, admitted flaw of using freeze, but you have solutions. Don't worry about being on fire. Okay, he's he's no longer frozen. He is stunned. So there is that. Um, but I wouldn't Let's slam him. I don't like that because we all we've lost sight of the toe guy the, the the legendary servant of toe. He's still over there somewhere. I'm I'm very certain so Moving more in that direction is gonna complicate things um, I I'd, I'd say your confusion ray is probably still a good idea and then just keep hitting him Yeah, oh Is that the guy there? Is that the legendary that frozen? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it is. Okay, um. Well, our sad Amos guy is injured, so we could commit to this and just like I say, once that guy is not frozen, might want to book it. This is starting to get a little bit spicy. This is a good thing. The worst part is that you're not even fighting Sad Amos. You're fighting a clone of Sad Amos. What just happened? Uh, well, you're not prone. Sir. So he is. He is What's now. What's that glowing thing? Is that bad? That's not that bad. I don't. I don't think it, it won't like hurt you. Um say like charge him
Oh, I guess you're in melee combat with that frog. You could throw down your hologram, deal with the frog, and then charge him. Very strange things are happening right now. Well, I'm latched onto the frog is the problem. Oh, right. He's, uh, he's dragging you. Okay. Yeah, kill that frog. There we go. Okay. Now, conk. I think you're okay. Uh, the only thing that I don't like is that we've lost sight of, um, the legendary. That's not going to work. Yeah. Uh... You can just move one space closer. He, yeah, you'll be fine because of your hologram. Okay, we okay, killed the force him. Field um, go, go and grab his stuff real quick. And then I'd say maybe fly away. Uh, yeah, you could grab just like tab because nothing is in visible sight. Okay, that works too. Okay, so now um, what do we have equipped for grenades? Still freeze grenades? Uh, yeah, I think so. This might freeze us, but it might not. Don't. Okay. All right. Well. It did. It did. It did freeze us. It did freeze us. Uh, I'd say don't waste the other blaze. Maybe we can just wait it out. Hopefully we will unfreeze before they do because they were closer to the radius. I got confusion back. Yeah, that works. So at the very least, this buys us some time for some of our cooldowns to come off. You should be good any minute now. There we go. And we can even take an extra shot on him if we wanted. You want to punch him? What do you want to do? Uh, shoot him? Being like directly next to him seems like a really bad I idea. Could, I could run. Yeah. <laughs> we we walked closer to the radius. Um. Okay, we know. <laughs> yeah, you're no longer sprinting. Oh God, that's an elder. This is starting to get a little bit stupid. Um. Yeah, I like what you're doing right now. <laughs> yeah, grab the books. Why not? Um, we're just going to let them fight it out for a moment. And then, like, we could maybe reapproach the situation in about uh, a minute. We are at the end of the episode. Uh, we want to leave it on a cliffy. Cliffy hangy. Yeah. All right. We'll tell you what. Um, let's cook a meal real quick. Go ahead and use your eater's nectar, or drop of nectar. Let's see how this goes. Oh, you have no beard. Oh, that's an interesting. We'll have to play with that on the next episode. Yeah, this is fine. Go ahead and uh, use that. Ah, oh well. You win some, you lose some. That was so expensive. It was. Um, it's a 25% chance of, uh, success. And basically, if it works, you get plus one to all of your attributes. Mm. So, that's why, uh, people recommend not using Eater's Nectar Tonic, is because if you preserve them into Drop of Nectar, you have a 25% chance of having plus one to all of your attributes. So even if you preserved four Tonics into Drop of Nectar, it's still worth it because you would have gotten six attribute points as opposed to only one that you can spend on whatever. You remove your agency, though. Dang. All right. All right. Well, if you're enjoying this at home, then definitely hit the like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Goodbye.